Okay, Amanda. Okay, slam. All right, can you spot the difference to how I'm clapping? You see it? Wait, you only did it once. I did it once. How can I spot the difference if you've only done it once? Oh, oh is this from to all no, previous? Uh, to a well, you didn't clap. drop it, you didn't throw it at me, and it's not super small. I used my left hand. I it was a super that. special clap. All right, Brick Maniacs, as you can see, we have nothing in front of us. The new kit that comes out tomorrow is very exciting, but the prototype is currently in Florida. And the original build is with George. Is with George. And we should go to George right now. And he can show you the beauty that is the massive buffalo. The buffalo. Yeah. Welcome, Brick Maniacs, to the Midwestern Design Studio. Today we have the Buffalo MRAP Minesweeper. Don't mind the dust, this is an older model, and this is a prototype, so please pay attention to the renders from our amazing art team. Just a few features to go over. It does roll smoothly. It does have six opening hatches, which is a good way to take the roof off to get inside. Don't have much of a detailed interior as the structure to build the sides kind of takes up a lot of space in here, but do have a rear opening door, which you let take that antenna off to get it to open all the way. This is typically crewed by two people with room for four more and operate the robotic arm from inside at a remote station. The arm is used to clear mines and any other IEDs that are in the path of vehicles and soldiers. Like I said, uh, pay attention to the on-screen renders to see all the artwork. I believe this is coming with two figs that are pretty unit specific to a location near where we live. so. Uh, Dan's project manager on this uh, pretty happy to get some of my designs back out to you guys so I hope you enjoy it oh okay well that's cool thanks George <laughs> <laughs> is that enough is that what you wanted I don't know what you want slim that was some really natural delivery <laughs> just, just excellent natural delivery I tried <laughs> All right, this week we also have this fun guy. Um, a lot of fun making him. It he's is so cool. I, he's I like, really, really cool. Like he's like hat. one of the showiest minifigs we have ever done. Right. He's got a great hat. He's yes. got a great hat. New hat. Uh, I'd probably tell him what this is. Uh, Louisiana Tigers. Louisiana Tigers. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, Confederate soldier. Uh, and he's got great pants. They're, they are dressed like the Zouave. Okay. And uh, very similar, at least not quite the same. There's a lot of there's some differences and stuff, but um, yeah. So and he's got this great uh, like knit uh, skull cap thing going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a brand new 3D piece that I got to make. And now it just I don't know. I'm kind of obsessed with it and like all of the nightcaps and reenactment of every like old movie ever can be done. Just yeah, to get some of these. We have a hat. Yeah, there is a hat now. <laughs> so this is a great figure. <laughs> Little Ebenezer Scrooge moment. I mean, we got we can do it. Anyway, this guy is not Ebony to Scoot. Um, <laughs> comes with the um, what we've been doing for our perfect calibers the whole time. The uh, uh, flintlock, nope, cap lock. Cap, cap lock Mustang. Yep. Caliber. Yep. And uh, yeah, he's got some great little gators on, and yeah, doing his doing his thing. He's got a nice bag in the back. Just scruffy as all get out. Excellent work. I mean, Thanks. We've we've done a. You've done a great number of, of Civil War soldiers. I've done quite a few Civil War soldiers. And this one is one of the showiest and outside the norm as, right? as everybody else. He's, 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 he's pretty sho yeah. showy. I could have looked at his belt buckle too because that's clearly. Anyway. Um, cool. Move cool. on. Move okay. on. Uh, what else is going on? We have... Um, oh, we got things that are sold out. Things that are sold out. That uh, are things coming, that came out for pre-order pre yeah. and sold through and are now shipping. So congratulations to all the people that bought themselves a well. goulash canon. That is not pronounced right. It's a goulash canon. I'm not going to try it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is the German field kitchen. It's a cool little kit. It's got some great parts. Uh, great big. This one as well. 
Super cool. Panzer III. Panzer III aus L. Um, or we're yes. just going to call it the Panzer III. Yeah, this is a great kit that also has sold through. It, these are both limited editions, so if yep. you still really want one, oh, the stores, stores might have them. Yeah, so it's going to be got the only way only to get them, or uh, maybe Brickismo if you're over, uh, in over in Europe. Yeah. Cool. Where's that? I'm going to duck out. I'm going to let Dylan step in here and tell us about what else is going on this oh, week. Oh, you're ditching me. Okay, nice there we go. Just... Right? Is, that, is that a smooth transition? I like it. All right, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm taking this off. I'm taking this off. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> back to me and Dylan. That's where we're back. And feel free to use that transition, camera guy. <laughs> All right. Well, after the smoothest of transitions, let's take a little look at what is coming up uh, on Monday here and you know, throughout the weekend. But first, I want to say, just having seen the uh, Louisiana Tiger, oh. this Civil War minifigure series has got to be hands down the best dress minifigures that I've seen it, come out, yeah. other than maybe the gangsters. The gangsters. I, the, the gangsters <laughs> had excellent suits and great hats. Uh, yeah, no, they've been really fun. Um, they they were very decked out, mm -hmm. at least in you know the basic uh, uniforms, and then even 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 the ones who weren't like a lot of the Confederates who were just kind of wearing whatever they had. Mm -hmm. They still looked a heck of a lot more unique. Than they, was, they were dapper. That's, <laughs> they were that's, dap that was, dapper. Uh, that's a very good word mm -hmm. for it. They, they were, were very dapper. I feel like uh, a lot of those lot guys of were. Yeah, right. Exactly. They were making sure they were all shiny and ready to go, so they looked real good when they were marching. And then I have a feeling as soon as the cannon fire got a little close, you were like, I, I don't know if I should have gone out here in red. <laughs> the red, the red caps are what really like just makes me go, you know. Yeah. Wow. Look how easy points. those guys are to see. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I agree. They I still agree. look cool in minifig form, so Thank you. Props I to you. really, really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. It's been and, a cool uh, transition. It's been good. Um, back to more business stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so pre-ordering on Monday, Universal Carrier Mark II. That is a Brickmania Classic Series. Right now, that's the only pre-order slated because we don't want to keep room on the schedule for the Buffalo if it continues to move. Because remember, that is a limited edition kit. Um, Get it now or be sad. Just like this thing, which I just wanted to bring out <laughs> because this is now ready to ship to stores. It is sold out online. Um, but you can pick it up in retail locations as well. And I just thought this is such a cool little set that yeah. allows you to focus on the cool part of this machine without mm -hmm. having a gigantic one <laughs> taking up all yeah. of the display space without you your could ever have. Shelf, exactly. Like, yeah. And then exactly. you have a thing where it all falls down. Yeah, no, I think this was, it turned out to be a really nice piece. And I think those people who managed to grab it, you know, mm -hmm. good on them. And maybe we'll do something similar in the future. Yeah, you know, who we knows? never know. It's all there's there's definitely more more to explore when it comes to stuff like this. But again, yeah, kind of like with the Civil War stuff, your guys' response to the popularity of wanting to see more stuff like that, mm -hmm. that's what that's what drives the the production machine of getting more of that Very stuff put so. in there. Yeah. So you if you, talk, if you like listen. what you see, exactly. If you like what you see, keep rolling on it. Um, Sikorsky HH60G Pavehawk. Um, that pre-ordered. There might be a couple of copies still left online. Last I checked, mm -hmm. there was maybe two. Um, but those could be gone by the time this hit, uh, but they will be available in retail stores. The pairing with that is the PJs. Yep, the old, the... Uh, the... the U.S. Air Force yep. PJs. Yep, um, yep, yep. Apparently still exceedingly popular to pick up along with your Blackhawk because you have that option when you pre-order it. Oh, yeah. um, so those are set to release standalone on Monday. I think there's two. <laughs> So if, you were, if, you were, if you were holding your breath for that uh, for that PJ's restock standalone, you're going to want to be really fast come Monday morning um, because most of the people who pre-ordered that next round of Paypox definitely went and picked those up. Um, but you'll have more luck with things like the Cold War U.S. Rifleman, yeah. which is awesome. Um, <laughs> U.S. Marine Corps Dress Blues uh, mm -hmm. and the Modern Stealth Fighter Pilot, which features that wild yeah, it's that big helmet bubble, bubble thing Gen that, 3. Uh, helmet caused a lot of really cool randos while you guys were experiencing or learning how to make that uh, thing. It's fun that the resin actually distorts the face mm -hmm. very similarly to the photos I've seen. Oh, it looks so. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah, it looks really good. That's that another great one for any of our digital instructions that you're picking up. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of stuff there that that core joins with, so Definitely. that's cool. All right. Um, I suppose the good point to make too. Uh, just remember, with all the limited edition stuff, once it starts to sell out. The only place you're going to be able to get it is stores, or if you wait long enough, potentially the vault. Um, but we've got some stuff online right now, uh, like the A10, a couple of mm -hmm. those that are really, really starting to dwindle down to just yeah, the single digits. Much. So if you've got some that you're keeping an eye on, and you know we did just come out with fresh coupons for the month of March, maybe now is the time to, to go ahead and make a move on some of those Tax limited money has got to be coming in for people. See? There you go. If you're responsible, unlike me, and have already filed your taxes, then you're good to go. Go ahead and use that. Nice. You done it? I did. Oh, wow. Okay. Did three years worth. We're not going to talk about that. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, that's a story for a different sit rep. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, just to, just to touch on those, if you see all the limited edition stuff and you're like, where is it on the website? If you're getting to the party late, I know it's tough to stay up with all the weekly releases. It's hard for us here. And yeah. we do it every week. Yeah. So outside looking in, I totally get it. Remember retail stores um, and then just checking the website are always your friend. Um, moving on. Oh, no, Speaking of Civil War, I don't know why I didn't bring this up earlier. This weekend is Brick Fair, Virginia. Ah, yes. or, well, Fredericksburg, Fredericksburg. Virginia. It's still yep. technically Brick Fair, Virginia. <laughs> but, you know, it's a different part of Virginia. Different. Dan is going to be out there with the road store, uh, which means they're going to have all of the previous exclusives that are still in stock, a bunch of classic serious stuff. And... We've already announced it on social media, so you've already seen it, but it's the Civil War Icons 2, General Meade and General Longstreet that will be debuting on Saturday. Mm -hmm. How'd you do it? <laughs> How'd I do what, it? Well, I started by that? drawing and started when <laughs> I was two I years old. Started with crayons and some paper. But that's a pretty cool, that's it's a pretty cool, cool little duo. Um, yeah, it's a great duo that we're fun to do. New beard um, mm -hmm. mold on that, so a little different, a little longer, a little fuller, mm -hmm. you know, like you do. And remember, those exclusives will be traveling wherever the road store is traveling. Yep. I know some people have asked about like, wait, what if it sells out? Will the road store restock it? And the answer is, we're not 100% sure yet. <laughs> We'll find out. Because it depends on how the production looks at the time <laughs> and how many events we have at once. Mm -hmm. And it's something that we're still working on. So I know that's been a popular question. Obviously, we want to make these exclusives available to where we are with the road store. That's the point. Yep. So we're going to do our best to do that. Um, and, you know, we'll stay tuned for more updates there if we get something actually figured out. But for now, just know that where the road store is, that's where the exclusives will be. Um, and that includes Bricksburg, Brick Fair Fredericksburg this weekend in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Sentence. I like it. It's a long one. It was good. Um, and because this is Dragon On, we'll just wrap it up real quick. Remember that uh, the 31st of March is the cutoff date for the increase in price for World War Brick. So if you are coming to World War Brick this year, yeah, you should. You'll be there? Should. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Okay, good. I'm going to be there. Because I don't know what the micro brick battle area would even look like if they didn't. Poor Abner would be over there like. Abner's where's where's usually it? on. Uh, oh, that's right, too. So then it really, so then it really be, be like, all right, well, don't worry. Camera guy will be running all of the <laughs> games this year. He's. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, World War Brick is going to be great as always. Yeah, get your get your blindfold skills ready again mm -hmm. for for blind building and other games, and it'll be great. Yeah, Some, if you checked it out at all last year, maybe even too. So. Yeah, I think I think that'll be fun. A lot of the a lot of the, the weekend pass bunker thing figured out. We we've streamlined the Randos Landos creation thing. So if you're yeah. if you're building build a fig, whatever it is, part yeah. from random part stuff again, it should be a little a little smoother than the epic queue you faced in in 2023. We we. we we kind of ironed out some bugs, yeah. and then we did a little more ironing out when we were in mm -hmm. uh, Chantilly, Virginia, right. for Brick Fair, Virginia, in Chantilly. Oh, that is confusing. See? Anyway, uh, go to Brick Fair somewhere in Virginia. They're fun. Um, but this weekend, specifically, Fred and Super. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go check it out. Join us for World War Brick, all that kind of fun yeah. stuff. Keep an eye on limited edition things. Otherwise, yeah. thanks for watching. Thanks.